Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are discussing, uh, or we can say that we are continuing the uh, chapter, previous chapter that is Plant Kingdom. If you haven't seen the previous video, please do see as you can make a link what I'm going to teach in the next classes. Okay, so starting with the Thalophyta, okay, first phylum of the Plant Kingdom. So let's get started. Okay, so. Thalophyta. Actually, this is also known as Chlorophyta. Chlorophyta. Mm. Okay, Chlorophyta. Chlorophyta, why? Because it is a group of green algae. I am writing with an orange pen with green algae. Okay, so chlorophyta, just a humor, nothing else. Ignore if you didn't get it. Okay, so chlorophyta. Chlorophyta is a group of green algae. Chlorophyta is also known as chlorophyta. Yeah. So let's get started with its journal characters or journal features. What are the journal features of thalophyta? Okay, so number one pigments okay pigments present in the green algae is chlorophyll a b carotene xanthophyll okay this shows this is uh, they show these uh, pigments okay Green algae show major mainly these. Okay, they all see these chlorophyll A and B mainly. Okay, so what is the next characteristic? They shows wide variety in size and shapes. Okay. They shows a wide variety in size and shapes. I'm going to take some examples. You will get clear with this uh, point. Okay. So, unicellular. Unicellular motile. Like they are unicellular cell but motile. For example, uh, chlamydomonas type algae. Chlamydomonas type of type of algae okay chlamydomonas type of algae clear next type like uh, unicellular but non-motile algae okay so these are chlorella Let me erase this. Ignore this, okay? Chlorella. Another one is filamentous. Filamentous. And unbranched. It is filamentous but it is unbranched. So these are Eulothrix, Spirogara, okay, Eulothrix, Spirogara. Next one is filamentous but branched. These are Cladophora. Let's see. Cladophora. Okay. Sorry. It should be D, right? Another one is. Another one is. Colonial. Colonial. 
and example is wall works another one is umbrella type it's umbrella type umbrella type umbrella type is acetable area so these are some type of uh, wide uh, wide variety of shape and sizes okay unicellular but motile in some unicellular but non motile in some filamentous but unbranched filamentous branched colonial umbrella type okay these are some the shapes and varieties okay so coming with the third character that is they have two layered cell wall okay two layered cell wall but how two layer it can inner and outer inner one is made up of cellulose whereas outer is made up of pectate okay two layer cell wall inner one is cellulose of outer is pectate okay reserve food they are reserve their food in the form of starch but there is an interesting structure found okay so one more structure found here is one more structure found is pyrenoid okay pyrenoid it is actually embedded embedded in chloroplast embedded in chloroplast clear and it has an core of protein has core of protein and flower like structure or say outer structure made up of starch grains or starch granules okay it is actually something like this okay if you consider this as a protein core and this as a starch it is a flowery structure okay this is a pyrenoid which is embedded in the chloroplast okay clear this black portion is the core protein and this leafy structure is core is this and outer gra starch granule is this clear i hope everything is clear till now okay so moving towards the next point fifth flagella is present here if they are motile and the number can vary from 1 to 2 number can vary from 1 to 2 okay so next point is where they are found halophyta where they are where they are found they are found in fresh waters okay fresh waters ponds moist areas okay they are found in fresh water ponds moist areas clear yeah. so let's get the with the next point okay another that is the seventh point how they behave means whether they are parasitic or pathogenic or what okay so very few are parasitic okay like uh, anti plant pepper plants yeah and they are epizoic epizoic means grow on the body of the other organism like shell sloth bear sponges clear yeah. they are more clearly say epizoic epizoic 
Epizoic means grow on the body of other organism. Okay, like sloth, bear, shell, sponges. Example, example of this is zoo cholera. Okay, zoo cholera is a, belongs to Thallophyta. And it is epizoic. Another one. Another point is they are what about the life cycle? Okay, life cycle. So they are haplontic. Okay, they show haplontic life cycle. Okay, most of this. Uh, as they are haploid first of all they are haploid so most of the stages are in the form of haploid cells but they do not repro uh, but they do reproduction which uh, which can be sexual or asexual okay so like haploid gamete haploid gamete fuse or uh, if the haploid gamete fuse, uh, fuses so fusion after fusion meiosis is there okay meiosis which form zygotic which is also known as zygotic meiosis okay zygotic meiosis which takes place here clear so next is reproduction Reproduction can be sexual or asexual. Okay, sexual or asexual. Let's get it a little bit in detail. Okay. So, if there is a asexual reproduction, asexual reproduction. Yeah. If there is a asexual reproduction, so how it takes place? It takes place through zoo spores. Okay, that is formed in certain conditions. Okay, certain favorable conditions. Unfavorable conditions leads to a planospores, hypanospores, sorry, hypnospores, echinites or echinite. Okay, these are formed in unfavorable conditions and this is formed in favorable conditions clear yeah. these lead to the formation of new plants okay when i'm when we are talking about asexual reproduction and when there is a sexual reproduction the gametes are involved okay so the haploid gametes fuse here haploid gametes fuses this can be isogamous and isogamous oogamous these are the type of reproduction okay isogamous means both the gametes are same shape size okay and isogamous means they are dissimilar okay they do not resemble uh, they do not look like the same Oogamous means female gamete is stationary, okay, whereas the male gamete is motile, okay. These are what type of reproduction, okay, clear. This is about the reproduction portion of the thalophyta okay now we are going to take up the examples of it in detail okay we'll start with chlamydomonas then eulothrix then spirogara okay so stay tuned and we'll meet you in the next video please do like share and subscribe the channel okay and don't forget to hit the bell icon
Thank you very much and stay safe.